Vahid and Lakin Littman. Now, the Notre Dame beat writer for the Indianapolis Star joins us now to, to break down the Irish here a little bit. Well, we just heard the story that Vahid had about Sean Crawford and what an incredible season he's had so far. And he's really been a nice piece to the Notre Dame defense. Yeah, you know, Sean Crawford is really just one of the best stories going for Notre Dame right now. He was a four-star prospect coming in, personally recruited by Brian Kelly. And then, you know, uh, his freshman year, fall camp, tore his ACL. Then he rehabbed, recovered, came back, played the first game last year against Texas. Then the second game, tore his Achilles, rehabbed, recovered. <laughs> and then, you know, he told us this week, actually the toughest part of his recovery was missing out um, of last year's four and eight season. He couldn't help his team, but he rehabbed, recovered, came back. He's here, uh, played uh, the first four games of this season, and he's had a part in uh, four turnovers, four of nine of Notre Dame's turnovers this year. And, you know, a year ago at this point, Notre Dame had only had four turnovers total. So, you know, that just goes to show what kind of playmaker he's really been for this defense so far. Been showing some stats. Uh, four interceptions for this defense, five fumble, forced fumbles and recoveries, eight sacks. So, Notre Dame's defense has really been all over the place. Now we're going to check in with On the Mend and, and our injury report and where Notre Dame stands this week. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. I was thinking about it. We're almost halfway through the year and, and Notre Dame is really lucky compared to other teams across the country as far as injuries go. And really, they're kind of just limited limited to uh, their running backs and nothing serious but last week against Michigan State uh, running back Josh Adams reported some stiffness in his ankle he had an x-ray at halftime it came back negative um, but Brian Kelly held him out for the second half and um, Dexter Williams came in and you know he scored two touchdowns but this week he's reporting some soreness in his ankle and Brian Kelly said earlier this week that he's going to be a game day decision for today and then you've got Tony Jones another running back and, you know, last week he didn't play against Michigan State. He was on the sideline in street clothes, but um, he got uh, number two reps this week in practice, and he should be back for today's game. And that's really what's nice about having so many running backs in your stable. Mm -hmm. They are loaded there, so if it, they don't need to push someone. They can let them sit, get that rest, and you've got someone to come in in his place. All of the Notre Dame running backs have scored this season. Right. You know, it's kind of like when new offensive coordinator Chip Long came in in January, January. Um, he preached having a much more physical front, establishing that run, um, running the ball to win, and that's really what, you know, with the exception of the Georgia game, that's what Notre Dame has really been able to do in its three wins. And, you know, starting with Josh Adams, the number one guy, and Tony Jones, those guys couldn't really go full force last week. So you got, you dip into your depth, you've got Dexter Williams, scores two touchdowns in the Michigan State win. You've got Dion McIntosh, scores a touchdown in Michigan State win. Um, and you can't really talk about the running game without talking about quarterback Brandon Wimbush. He's, you know, the second uh, leading rusher on the team and actually has seven rushing touchdowns, the most on a team. And you know what? He actually, there's only two guys in the whole country who have more rushing touchdowns than he does. So that really says a lot about the running game. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Lakin Littman, Indianapolis star. She's a beat writer for Notre Dame football. You do an incredible job there. Thanks. Thank you for being on our stage. And we'd love to have you come back again this season. Yeah, anytime. All right. Thank you. Now, moving ahead, we are going to have a special story on the running backs coach, Autry Denson, in a little bit. And and, uh, you know, you may have missed a few of those hidden figures inside Notre Dame Stadium. Even if you're the biggest Irish fan, ABC57.com's Andrea Alvarez is live in the stadium with the high-tech upgrade to your game day experience. Andrea.